Stephanie, I hope you're not driving. I'm not driving, Scott. I'm here in the back seat. We're heading west on I-90. We are near mile marker number nine here, and it is a construction zone, but I'm told we are going just under 65 miles an hour. And after 2,500 cubic yards of rock excavation and 14 million pounds of steel reinforced concrete, a lot of work went into building this dam. Notebooks for every class. Crayons, glue, it all adds up quickly. Six of the top 10 cities on the highest credit score list are in Minnesota and Wisconsin. La Crosse is number eight on that list with an average credit score of 779. And you can see the water is spilling over onto the walkway. Those are all reasons why Riverwatch says it's dangerous down here. During the 2006-2007 school year, international students contributed about $3.5 million to the local economy. And last school year, just five years later, they contributed about $9.2 million. That's about three times as much. One thing Principal Laura Huber is excited about is closing, closing the, the gap, gap between the two north side elementary schools. She says building one school on the current Franklin site will create a better sense of community. The dollars that they spend at hotels, that's only 20% of all of the money that they're going to spend here. So once the back of their trucks are full, they drive over here to West Copeland and leave the wood chips for Excel Energy to pick up. Neighbors watch as police investigate a shooting at this apartment on the south side of La Crosse. I heard a couple gentlemen across 4th Street yelling and hollering to somebody at the apartment building across the street uh, directly following the sound of gunfire. As her two-year-old son played in the front yard, she watched one of the men get into a maroon car and take off, leading officers on a high-speed chase through residential areas. We quickly had other officers that were able to spot that vehicle. Uh, that vehicle was followed and eventually stopped up on top of Granddad's Bluff. They arrested 29-year-old Brian Carr and found the gun from the shooting in his car. Back at the apartment, police search for evidence and for the other man involved in the argument, 31-year-old Redondo Shelley. We don't know if the, uh, the shot was fired in the air or at this person. Uh, we don't believe he was hit, uh, but we want to make sure that there is no uh, no blood located at the scene or anything like that, but we do want to talk to this person to see what happened. Police say neighbors don't have reason to be concerned, but Nelson is still worried. She says this isn't the first time there's been problems at those apartments. We own our home, so we can't just sign a new lease and pack up and move. So uh, to the best of our abilities, we just have to try to end what's going on. End the violence filtering out to her part of the street. In La Crosse, Stephanie Nolte, News 19. On one of the busiest travel weekends of the year, State Patrol is working to keep you safe from the ground and the air. To reduce the uh, amount of crashes, injuries, um, fatalities that we're having on the roads here in Wisconsin. Circling I-90 near exit 12, Sergeant Chaffee watches the cars that are no bigger than ants for violations. There's one at 80.8, following distance of 0.37 seconds, 77.0 time of 1142. State Patrol can tell how fast a car is going by seeing how quickly they pass between these two white dashes on the freeway. Technical stopwatch, just taking your distance and dividing it by the time to, to uh, calculate the speed. When he finds a violation, he calls it down. Red auto, lane one, passing uh, uh, a couple SUVs. First check was 80.8, the second one at 77.0. And keeps an eye on the car going to be going by the exit. until a trooper can pull it over. And that's the correct vehicle on the shoulder. I haven't had much different reaction, to be quite honest. I haven't had much reaction at all. Just very even keel right now, I don't know. But uh, maybe because they just know what they were doing they were caught. The highest speed of the day was 85 in a 65 mile an hour zone. You pull over a car, you get done with that vehicle and that person, and then you get back in line and then you're going again. Troopers wrote 18 citations and gave out 25 warnings during their four hour detail. Working with his hands is something 23 year old Andrew Dubeck has always loved. It helps me uh, process things. Um, it's, it's nice to be able to think about, all right, well, the logic of it all. Andrew spends five hours a day in this wood shop, turning a wooden pallet into a little free library. Oh, come on, have a little faith. He does good. He's definitely actually an excellent student. You know, he does his work. He finds his own business and, you know, 
They have a pleasure to have in class. It's nice to get out and be able to work with your hands and do something that uh, lets you escape this kind of place. The Prairie Deschines Correctional Institute. It's a good feeling. Uh, we're pretty isolated here uh, in prison, so it's kind of nice to be able to reach out and do something for other people. A few years ago, the prison reached out to Little Free Library to see if construction students could help. Fit really well in with the program and gave us something that we could get projects out the door instead of just piling up. Over the last year and a half, inmates have donated 80 libraries. We had a brownie troop in Minneapolis, I believe, that sent us a big poster of thank you. We've gotten them from Joplin, Missouri. After tornadoes went through, they got one and they gave us a thank you. Andrew has two years left in prison on drug charges. He says it's a process, but he truly does want to change. I can see it clearly now, you know, obviously I've made some mistakes, but uh, I'm gonna try to bounce back and uh, use the tools that I, I can learn here in the shop and apply them towards uh, doing well on the outside.